I know it's only September, but Halloween's gonna be here before we all know it. And I feel like I never know what to be every single year. So I wanna know what you guys are gonna be this year. I literally used to hate Halloween because of this, but I'm in New York this year, so I wanna go all out. I feel like people go crazy for Halloween in New York. So I need like multiple outfits for literally the whole entire week of Halloween. Also, can we talk about the fact that we're nearing the end of September and it's still literally summer outside in New York City? I don't know, for some reason I thought it would be at least a little bit windy, but you can literally still wear shorts and a tank top outside and be completely fine. I'm using my Costa Stream Bean Sunlit to protect myself while looking sun-kissed. I'm literally getting paler and paler each day. My best friend is also coming to visit me for Halloween, so we're gonna celebrate together and I'm actually so excited. Like this is our first, I guess, Halloween together in such a long time since like, since like we both moved out. So even like Halloween costume ideas for two people, two best friends, that would be great. I swear every year I look on like Pinterest or something and I never find anything that I really like. And then I see people posting on TikTok and I'm like, that is the smartest and most unique and cutest costume ever. Like, who would have ever thought of that? Also, like, when did we stop trick-or-treating? I don't know. I feel like Halloween kind of went downhill when people stopped trick-or-treating. Obviously, people still do, but I feel like it's not as hyped as it was before. But I'm really trying and hoping I have a really good Halloween this year because I dread it every year and I'm trying to get out of that mindset of, like, hating everything. Or not hating everything, just, like trying to enjoy stuff i don't know like trying to enjoy things that used to give me anxiety i don't know especially after like last year i think like literally a year ago today i was so miserable where i was like i cried every single day hated every single thing i did and like just to think how different my life is now makes me so happy <laughs> guys last night i had the worst and i mean literally the worst stomach pains of my life that i passed out at 9 p.m which is super early for me i usually go to sleep at like 11. it was so bad and then i woke up this morning the pain was still there but it was not as bad it was definitely much better but holy shit, i was like dying also recent new obsessions is this tara 28 lip balm stick things i don't know why i just keep putting them on they're so satisfying bye guys guess whose birthday it is not his it's marley's birthday and after i make this video I'm gonna, i made a video last night and it's like a marley core video and it's like it's just marley i think i'm gonna i don't know if i'm gonna post it on my story or actually post it post it post it i think i'll post it on my story because it's too good not to post it all okay i was trying to do it without clips but it's not working so my hair can have a dent in it guys i need to whip out the spray tan or the self tan because i'm getting too pale to my likings and look at i don't even have like tan lines anymore i mean a little bit but like it's it's not okay but i've actually like learned how to self tan on like last year when i looked like donald trump and i was delusional because i didn't think that i did like well i thought that i did but i didn't think that was that bad until i'm like looking back at pictures because i used that tanning gel to like be tan horrible don't use it. it makes you so orange okay another thing i have like a list of things that i want to talk about um my 16th birthday is coming up october 8th um but i'm having my dad wants to like celebrate with me so i'm having a birthday party at his house and then with my mom we're like going out of town with like friends and stuff but we're like booked to busy before my birthday so the only weekend that i can do my party is this weekend with my dad so we're doing it this weekend and they were asking me what i want like for my birthday and like obviously like cars up there and they know that but like other things and i don't know what i want so please send help and ideas because obviously i have a bunch of stuff with all the stuff that i get sent and so it's just like hard. I was like, what do I want? And I'm obviously so grateful for all the things that I get sent. Didn't want that to be taken in the wrong way. Okay, now I'm gonna go do my lashes. Okay, mascara is done. That took about 20 minutes. But it's fine because I'm early and I had time and they look good. Lashes are like the, the make or break of my whole thing. So they have to look good. Okay, um, we're gonna... Actually, I gotta spray my face. Do you ever just like your? 
you like your stomach just like starts feeling hungry because that was just my stomach that's why that like randomly came up because i just got that hungry feeling okay anyways sorry guys it just happened and i was just like i gotta say something because every time i think something it just comes out you know bro i'm a joke i can't so seriously okay perfuming up ever since sol de janeiro sent me this one i almost like it better than this one i don't know i kind of use both because they go together okay otd these are both from garage i gotta put in my jewelry okay jewelry's on and that's it bye guys i love you hey guys get rid of me to go to the gym whilst i reintroduce myself i'm gonna give you fun facts whilst i get ready and tell you a little bit more about my life for people that are new here um so sorry if you know who i am and you don't really care about my life <laughs> starting off i'm 17 years old and i'm born on the 13th of august 2007 i've grown up with two older sisters robin and georgia when i was six i grew such a love for acro and rhythmic gymnastics that i actually competed in that for a while one thing that not many people actually know about me is my name is not amy charlie's it's actually amelie charlie's hobson so my actual name is amelie but on tiktok i always used to call myself amy as that's like my nickname and a lot of you guys in public always shout amy and i never know if you're talking to me or not and you think my name's amy unfortunately i had to quit acro dancing at the age of like 11 due to actually having scoliosis and a slip disc so my disc actually slipped when i was competing one day uh, i think it was a show and from that day onwards they told me i was never allowed to dance again but we managed to start a new dance and start doing more like contemporary ballet and get into that instead it definitely came with its perks though because in school i was always allowed to go home if i said that it was my back because obviously it was a serious thing so i used to always pretend that in pe i'd injured my back so i could go home after pe and normally pe was the first lesson so i went to school until year 11 finished done my gcse's and then i ended up leaving school and doing social media full time not many people actually know why and how i started social media so i actually was a massive fan of saffron barker and i also had two older sisters that was obsessed with social media one of the best best parts of doing social media is definitely that i'm able to literally speak to you guys and meet so many of you guys and i personally think that is the most rewarding part about it all obviously it's great that you know i get to do what i love and make money from it but i don't even see it as a money thing i see it more as i get to literally speak to people every single day my two bestest of friends scarlet and naya i actually met scarlet in marbella as we both have houses out there and we had mutual friends met up one night and became inseparable ever since and then me and naya became best friends i'd say about three years ago now um through social media i met her at a convention called talk fest and i wouldn't say we were like bestest of friends from then because we then met for the second year of top best and i think that's when we really really became close my favorite season is definitely summer i feel like people love winter and i just think i thrive and i look the best in summer so that's probably why i think it i suffer really badly with dyscalculia and dyslexia and literally growing up i had the worst memory out of my whole school and I also suffer with avoidant restrictive food intake disorder, which is a type of eating disorder that I got diagnosed with when I was 10 or 11. Hope that helps. Bye. I've just been pooped with school and like overwhelmed with work and I've also been like slacking off on my online school which I need to get back into but yeah I've just also felt like really unmotivated to post because I like feel like I don't know I'm like so boring like I never have anything to talk about but to kind of bring some color and some glow back into my face I'm gonna use the Frillian's bronzing place and the Frillian's illuminating cream together to make a perfect smooth glowy bronzy base but like I feel like all the school events are like coming so soon and I'm like not prepared and also just like events outside of school. Like homecoming is next week and I completely forgot until like a couple of days ago. But I already have all my stuff because I bought it like early in the summer 
because I wanted to be extra prepared because I always get my dress and stuff last minute. But I have my heels and I have my dress. I'm going to show you guys the day of I'm coming. I haven't showed any of my dress yet. So it's going to be a little, a little bit of a surprise. And then for my Halloween costume, I already got that too. I got everything I needed on Amazon and Sheen. But <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, I got everything on Sheen and Amazon because it honestly wasn't a hard costume at all. I'm being Padme from Star Wars this year. And the only thing I needed from Sheen were like the go-go boots. And then I got like a turtleneck, some shorts, and I don't want to get the that she uses, so I got a lightsaber, but I already had one, so it kind of all works out. You guys, tell me why I literally have um, my internship today during lunch, and I was notified yesterday. So basically, like, they give us a schedule telling us, like, what days certain people have to work, and to my knowledge, I was supposed to work October 1st. It is September 24th, and tell you why last night they sent me like the schedule and it had my name on it for today so i'm a little like just like caught off guard i can't even say annoyed but like i'm just caught off guard because i was not expecting it and now i have to miss out on getting food during lunch so i'm actually gonna go get coffee because i know for a fact i'm gonna be needing it during the day i literally ripped out some of my lashes like last month and i've been on my like healthy eyelash journey ever since then because I literally had the most long, beautiful, luscious lashes over the summer and that was quickly taken away from me. So now I know how much I can't live without them. So they're looking way better. It's just, they're not as long as they used to be, but I've been using the Neuro Organic um, Lash Serum because I wanted to try stuff that didn't have any chemicals in it. And it's actually been working amazing. I use that with Aqua 4 at night. And needless to say, I think I see a difference in my lashes because some clumps that I had are now gone. Since that happened in my lashes, I've been keeping it kind of dialed back because I don't want to like stack on so much mascara to the point where it's like 35 layers of it on my lashes. And then when I take it off, I'm going to lose like 30 lashes. So I've just been doing the Grande Lash Mascara because it has like peptides in it and it's conditioning according to it. I don't even know if it does anything, but I don't know. It looks nice. And I don't really need too, much, too many coats of it. I think I only need one. And they look pretty natural, which is the vibe I've been going for lately, if you can't tell. Also, I don't know what it is, but recently I've been doing absolutely nothing in my high school classes. I don't know if my teachers are, like, underqualified for the job. But the only class I really feel like I actually, like, am productive in is math. And that's because we do a worksheet every single day in class. So I'm, like, always learning. But I'm taking economics and marine science. Tell me why we were watching a Bill and I video yesterday in marine science and we were playing a coffee shop game in economics like I feel so smart right now and intellectual like actually what am I gaining from these classes you know what I mean I can easily be taking college classes and not even having to go to school for more than one period but no I have to sit there for 48 minutes every day contemplating life Anyway, I'm done. I'm going to go eat breakfast, and then I'm going to do something on my lips because they're looking ashy and white. Um, but yeah, sorry for not posting, you guys. I love you so much, and I'll try to post more often. But yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Hey, Ryan. Here's my new soft spring makeup routine. First of all, I'm going to go on with the Miracle Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. This stuff is so lightweight on my skin, and I just absolutely love it. It's perfect for those warmer seasons where you don't really want, like, a lot of heavy makeup on your face and this product makes your skin look so nice and glowy such a perfect base i don't think you guys understand how nice and glowy perfect for spring okay and then next since i want that like kind of sunburnt type of look i'm gonna go on with mk beauty's cheek and lip tint and this is in the shade blush red perfect summer color and i'm just putting it on the back of my head and then i'm gonna go on with the brush and put it on that way because i feel like it just I don't know, it just looks nicer and more natural. This is also a dupe for the Glossier Cloud Paint. It retails for $42. This is $14. And of course, I'm just going to put a little bit on my nose. Just so it can be nice and sun-kissed. It's such a pretty shade. And just blends out perfectly. Next product, this comes as no surprise because I'm literally obsessed with this mascara. But it's the Extend Lash Black Mascara from MK Beauty. It just literally transforms your lashes and I don't even know how to explain how good this mascara is. Like it literally makes them look so long and it's also achieving mascara so it doesn't smudge or anything it's just if you can't tell i love this mascara and then next product 
is MK Beauty's Brow Laminate Sculpt and Set. This is like a two-in-one and I love it. I feel like doing your brows just makes the whole makeup look just come together and makes you look really nice and just clean. Brows are all done. I almost forgot. I'm going to use my MK Beauty Cheek and Lip Tint again and just put it on my lips. I love doing this because it makes like your cheeks and lips match and I just feel like that looks really nice and just effortless. <laughs> Isn't it such a nice little tint? But that's it for my makeup routine. All these products were from MK Beauty and you can find them at MK Beauty's website, Woolies, Big W, Chemist Warehouse, literally anywhere. They're so accessible. But that's it and I hope you have a great day. Hey guys, get ready with me for school. We are wearing jeans today because, I don't know, I was in the mood to feel cute. So I've had this cold for like a while, like I went to the doctor last week and everything, and I was kind of feeling a bit better, and now I just woke up feeling worse, and I don't know why. I'm really pissed off about it. Okay, to get back to Chase's wash, so I'm not going to go actually right now. I also can't get ready with lights on because I cracked like my screen protector that's like in front of my camera. So now the lights are like all cracked and broken like wait i'll show you like it just doesn't work i know today i have an away tennis match loki sucks because it's like 30 minutes away but my one yesterday got cancelled so like whatever and then i also have a psych test but i think like every other part of my day should be fine i don't know also i'm just putting on a little bit of concealer because i like don't sleep and it's just starting to show up my face i also like can't wear zero makeup and jeans because everything that's like really conflicting to me so i wish doing a little bit to look like somewhat put together also, I'm going like some early today because I have to go to Calc Extra Help, which I literally go to every day at this point. The class is just like looking impossible, and I like need to help I can get. Using Rude um, Lip Tint. I know, crying. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm keeping this in my pocket. Okay, so now I have to take care of medicine because if I don't, I'm gonna be a mess all day. Um, I'm really sick. I don't even know if this is allergy, but I'm taking like allergy medicine and just like. Hopefully that it works. And it's like multi vitamins from all over the world. I'll take an extra pound of water. Okay, get it fresh out. Okay, bye guys. Hey guys, get ready for school. So I'm not going to actually do any makeup today because I feel like not, not a lot of makeup since I got my lash left. And I kind of want to like, I'm going to put a tiny bit of mascara on them, I think. Just to let them be more, but I'm really natural, like, one stroke, do you know what I mean? So yeah. I'm gonna use my Kylie toner. Oh! Now some baby. Now I'm gonna use some cordelay. I really can't bother with school today, but I've got like a good first two lessons. It's drama and music. And then. I've got math, which obviously isn't good, but I've also got like, um, I've got science, but I said I can be making science. Um, I think I've got English as well, maybe. I'm not sure actually making English, so it's not that bad when you say me. And teachers aren't really that bad today. Look at why my face peeling, it just keeps coming. One minute. I don't know what's going on there. I'm just going to leave it pay for a bit. Um, I really never ever has anything like that before. Um, hopefully it doesn't see like that. Right. That'll probably go down in a minute. I think it's just from where I've been like, pick it, trying to pick it off. Now I've been moisturiser. I bet she just got it. There's no way it's right on. I'm also going to throw a bit of glazed over the top. I'm not going to do any um, like bronze and drops because I shouldn't feel like they work. Like, no, they do work because my hue drops are the best and also my high glaze is the best. However, um, actually, you know, the high glaze is okay for it, but at the end of the day, it all like peels off my face, you know what I mean? I feel like you get that with every single one. But I use a little bit of um I use a little bit of hue drops. Right. But let's just feel like I'm gonna try and put it on a different way though. Right. Okay. 
I'm gonna try this fluffy brush. Oh, that was a decent age. It's really like that. I'm just gonna add the time. How gorgeous! Oh, then I'm definitely putting it on like that every other time because I usually just put a pump, 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 rub it. But maybe the brush is better. Looks way glabbier and way more like natural as well. Looks like it's light like, on me. How nice is that? Now I'm just gonna use some um, lash and brow mascara, but just on my brows. Look at the brow. No, my mate, the cup actually loves me today. Let's see if you want to go the same. That's how you know my makeup loves me today because that brow will never go similar to that brow. That said, my face looks w way darker, but like, it's obviously not. Do you know what I mean? Lips are just going to be easier for now because I don't even know if I'm going to line them. I don't even know if I'm going to line them. I mean, I mean, not. I don't know. Okay. So, why is my glass gone already? Well, I did just actually go for a minute to go and eat um, me breakfast. And try some slip on. Gorgeous! This is in shade High Thrive from P. Louise. I actually love that so much. Um, then I can put a tiny bit of gusso up the top. Pair my lashes. Do you want Okay, so I just came lashes and I just, I don't want any, like, I don't want it to be mascara, do you know what I mean? I just want them to stay like that. For that much. Is it enough? I'm not even going to do bottom lashes, I don't feel like that's natural enough. So I'm just going to do my top lashes. Right, I'm done. I'm going to have a little ring clean tonight, I think, when I'm watching Gossip Girl. Um, first meal. Bye, Olivia. Hi guys, get ready with me while I tell you about Uber Teen accounts. And it's perfect timing because I just ordered food using my Uber Teen account since my mom isn't home and we have no food for dinner. First, you need to ask your parents to sign you up for Uber Teen accounts because you can request your own rides and your own meals. Also, right now, teens get one free month of Uber and Uber Eats. Tomorrow, I'm planning on ordering an Uber ride to go to my friend's because my mom won't be available to take me. And honestly, it's perfect if you don't have your license yet and you don't want to ask your friends or anybody for rides. One of my favorite features is that it has live tracking for my parents within the Uber app. And it also has real-time trip notifications about the trip, like the driver, the destination, and the route, which makes my parents feel more comfortable while I get to go where I want if my parents can't take me. So if you guys could link in my bio to learn more and ask your parents to sign you up for an Uber account today, then you'll get one month free of Uber and Uber Eats. Y'all, I finally got the bob. Do y'all like it? <laughs> gotcha. I feel like I could not pull off a bob. Like, I'm just not a short hair queen. Believe it or not, like a few years ago, I actually had short hair, but it was not cute. But it's okay. It was like right here. It was, it was not for me. Absolutely not. Like, who? Who? Decided that was a good idea. No, no, no. Yo, I'm sorry I didn't make it get ready with me yesterday. My power was out, so I was like not gonna film a get ready with me in the dark. Like, bye. I don't even know why my power was out, honestly, but I was not gonna film a get ready with me. It was literally like getting ready and bad lighting, and but like 10 times worse because there was no lighting at all. Let's get hyped for school because I have my worst classes today. Okay, I'm going to switch it up and wear a different blush today because I'm just feeling it. I don't know. I was feeling makeup by Mario. I never wear highlighter anymore, so today I just felt like being a baddie and wearing it. I switch up my brow gel like every day, so, and I'm feeling this one, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, lashes. Okay, today I'm going to wear 59, and I'm going to wear the matching body butter. Okay, I think I'm going to wear this clear NYX lip gloss. It's coconut flavored. I never wear it, so we're gonna wear it today. Here's my fit, it's nothing too exciting. Um, Converse American Eagle, my school store thing, and then Eno in Kendra Scott, Kendra Scott, TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx. Okay, peace y'all. Hello everyone, um, I'm British now, thank you. I'm tired of my American accent, so I'm just British until further notice. I don't even feel like I sound British. Ugh, I just peeled this pimple off, it's like completely gone. I'm sorry. I swear that happens every time I put on Laneige, like anytime I go like, it like, okay, moving on. I just got back from cheer 
and I just felt like disgusting. And so I took a shower and got in my PJs and I'm gonna get in bed. And I tell myself I'm gonna work on my English essay, but like if we're being for real, like that's not happening. Cause this is the first night that I've actually gotten to like get in bed early and I'm not gonna be going to bed at like midnight. And I know tomorrow when I get to English, I'm gonna be like, why didn't I work on my essay? But I'll worry about that then. Also, normally I don't use this ordinary at night, but it's like, I love it. It's so hydrating. What did that even do? There was absolutely no point in flicking my face, but. Anyways, this Drunk Elephant Night Serum is like the bomb too. Um, The only thing is I'm almost out and it's like $90. So um, it might be a minute before I repurchase, but I absolutely adore it so much. Yeah. I put like the ordinary serum in this. Can I speak right? I normally put this in the ordinary on my face and then I literally just like cover my face in my um aquaphor stick. This. Um, as you can see, it gets put to use a lot. So I just like roll it up and I literally just like put it all over my face because I freaking love it. And I just color my face with it. I literally like have so much fun with this. I mean, I love it until I wake up in the middle of the night and my hair is like stuck across my face and I'm like trying to get it off. Maybe like a little less tongue though. There's already a hair. Can you see? Ew. I was like, mm. Okay, and that is my nighttime routine. And you can't forget a full Nukes cup of ice water. Can y'all see the ice in here? And it has to be a Nukes cup. It only tastes good out of Nukes cups. Oh. Okay, bye. What you're telling me is that we all have been lied to. Get ready to see when we talk about lies that we all believed as kids. Number one is that it's illegal to have the car light on while you're driving. But that's not true. I'm not sure why all of our parents told us that. I just remember all the time as a kid, if we turned the car light on while my mom was driving, my mom would be like, turn that off. You swallow gum, it's going to stay inside of your stomach for seven years. I feel like our parents just told us that because like gum is a choking hazard and they didn't want us to like swallow it. I don't know. Next one is if boys are mean to you, then that means they have a crush on you. I feel like in some cases this could be true, but I don't like that that's an excuse. I don't know. I feel like that one just teaches girls from a really young age that love is not peaceful but love is peaceful guys a lot of you guys recently have been asking me what mascara i use i use the l'oreal telescopic waterproof mascara and i absolutely love it if you guys want to update a lash routine let me know but guys i also just love the skinnier applicator overall next one is if you drink coffee it will stunt your growth this one is not technically true, but kids just shouldn't be drinking caffeine. But I also remember as a kid, like, everyone used to tell me that I was going to be, like, six feet tall and I was going to be super tall. And I was like, no, I don't want to be super tall. And I used to drink coffee to try to stunt my growth. It's kind of sad, but another thing that I've realized, guys, is that I don't need to put as much blush on because, for one, I'm super sunburned because I went too big on Saturday. But anyways, tell me the lies that your parents told you and if you can relate to any of these. I'll see you guys. My earlobes look so bad right now. Hold on. So I decided to put this on. Oh, I got these. I decided to put this headband on today. Even though I can't really hear. Well, I obviously can, but like not good as usual because my ears are like basically covered. But like I decided to just go with this headband today because it looks really cute. But I'm going in with my tea tree face pads. And I'm sorry that I didn't do a video yesterday. I was just so tired and it was a Monday morning. Okay, guys, I think it's actually starting to get cold now. I'm not sure. I need to check the weather today because, like, I don't know. It's just It just looks colder this morning. Like, it just looks more grey out and stuff because since my birthday, it's been, like, really sunny. Because, like, you know what it is, like, in the morning, it's, like, all dark and sun. And then when it gets through the day, like, lunchtime, it gets sunny. But I'm not sure yet. Because it just looks worse than yesterday's. It says it's going to be cloudy today, but, like, quite sunny too. But, like, not as sunny, I don't think. I literally said Alexa play music. Here's a mix for you on Are you actually joking? I had a good song on. Buffy. I had a really good song on. And then I just said it and then I was going off. Okay, now I've got the song back on. That was a song, by the way. That was a bit weird, but anyways, I just used my color recipe. Um, avocado serum. 
I'm going to use this moisturizer. Okay, I've been forgetting to put on Bunsen drops lately, so I'm going to actually remember. Put on some John Kenneth ones. In my eye. I literally got the stuff in my eye. That that I don't know what that done. That hurt. No, that stung. But I don't know. My P Louise is leaking. This one, like it always leaks because it's like about to run out. Because that was like my first one I got, and it is so good. It's like caramelly at Christmas. Guys, I'm sorry if that was a bit too loud. I don't know if it was. My eyelashes look so good. Okay, anyways, now I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Squeeze me lip balm in. I don't know what scent it is. Flavor. Mmm. My lips always look so good when I put this on. It just makes my lips look like alive. Not pow, just like pink. Okay, now I'm gonna put on some number 62. Oh, yes, please. Sorry about that one, guys. That's it. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, get ready with me first. Okay, so I've been using this lip mask that I got in PR. Um, and it's actually horrible. Like, it is the worst thing I've ever seen. I didn't even know lip mask can do this to you, but. It, like, has been making my lips dry, like, it's, like, been making my lips dry, like, you know, like, when you go to, like, a really cold, like, place where it's, like, snowy and stuff and your lips get, like, so cold and stuff and, like, they crack and it hurts? Like, that's what's happening to my lips from a freaking lip mask and this is a lip mask. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, it literally even made, like, a run here dry, which is actually disgusting. So I'm never using that again because I didn't even know like lash serum. I mean, lip mask can do that. Anyways, guys, follow my Instagram because I want to do Q and A's on there, and I will be answering every single question that I can. So I'm gonna do one like today probably, and I'm also gonna do a White Fox try on haul for you guys as well. Guys, I just did concealer and contour, and I think that's all I'm gonna do because, like, my pupils are just so gross. Guys, I've been watching the Monsters series. Well, I've watched it and now I'm re watching it because the actors are like so good. Like, I know it's like a horrible case, but I just wanted to re watch it because the actors are just so good anyways i think my pictures went well guys like they looked low-key really good like when i seen the picture like because like when you walk away from the like camera the guy has the picture up there for like a few seconds before the next person and it low-key looked good but like i barely got like a glimpse of it so i'm hoping it looks good when like i get my id and stuff and like my photos but yeah okay that was i never do like this less makeup but yeah that's it bye guys come to my attention that americans don't know a lot about canada so as a canadian i thought i would educate you all we have two national languages english and french and every canadian is fluent in both there's never any disagreement or conflict over canadians feeling like culturally disconnected just because we all speak the same language so it's easy we have a population of about a thousand people think because our country is so small our lives must be a lot different but that's really not true you know typical day of a canadian get up and shovel your driveway because of the snowfall from the night before and then before work you go to timmy's to get a double double or some timbits for high school we all go to degrassi high you may have seen the tv show but that's actually a documentary so if you watch that for entertainment purposes that is a little bit disrespectful 
respectful. Career paths after high school include hockey, Tim Hortons, of course, poutine, cook, and pop star. The latter is what Justin Bieber chose to do, and he's been pretty successful. We're all really proud of him. Now that summer is over, the house hippos have started to nest again. A lot of people think they're cute, but they are pests. They get into your peanut butter, so a lot of people will set house traps and then release them back into the wild. Just because craft peanut butter is pretty expensive, you can't afford to buy new jars all the time, especially since one American dollar is equal to 500 Canadian monopolies. So do the math on that. Oh yeah, and in Canada, our dollar is called a monopoly because we actually use the dollars from the board game monopoly. We just thought it'd be a lot easier to give out money this way. You can just buy the board game monopoly and that's your paycheck for the month. People always ask if we live in igloos and the answer is no, of course. We only live in igloos during the summer. We're so acclimatized to the cold that we need to be able to stay in a cool environment during the warmer weeks of the summer. And of course I said weeks of the summer because Canadian summers only last about two to three weeks. Another question I get is if we use the metric or the imperial system and the answer is actually Actually really simple so for speed we use metric obviously if it's for height we're gonna use imperial for weight we use imperial unless it's really heavy then we're gonna use metric duh for measuring volume we use metric unless it's for cooking then we're gonna use imperial so as you can tell it's actually quite simple and no one ever gets confused and finally I've seen a lot of people online say that Canadians don't really like Americans that we like get annoyed by them and that's not true at all we're actually scared of Americans so please don't hurt us okay it's all I have for today. Bye guys.